Hey y'all, welcome back to This Is Breedy. Um, I first want to say, I know, I know it's been a lot longer than I promised and was expected than what was told and I'm gonna apologize, I'm really sorry. The last three and a half weeks of my life have been crazy and did not exactly go as planned. So a lot of things happened, a lot of new changes, well, a lot of reverse changes, I guess you can say. And I'm going to get all into that today. Um, this is a get ready with me because I am on my way to do some run some errands, go to work and, you know, handle life stuff. So I just wanted to like sit down and record. I was going to do this tomorrow on my day off, but like I just wanted to get it out, get it done so I can just upload um, tomorrow, which will be Sunday. Um, so basically, I'm just going to get right into it. Um, so in the morning time, I don't cleanse my face as far as like my extensive ass skin routine just because I wake up with less than the time that I need to get ready to be at work on time so I just take uh some simple micellar water I don't know if you can see that but yeah it says some micellar water by simple I like this one because Jackie Ina says she like it so I like it and I just whatever my face so basically let me just catch you guys up with my life so the last time um I uploaded was September 15th and today is October I don't know it's October something first Saturday in October I'm recording I don't know the day um yeah I, I told you guys I'd check back after my birthday party and I would upload a, a vlog of my birthday which um the footage got deleted not so much deleted I recorded it on the wrong feature because I'm so new to this YouTube stuff so my friend helped me record and we recorded on the wrong feature so we don't know how to take it off the camera like we tried Google we tried YouTube we tried it's just not gonna happen I do have a few clips from um, snapchat which I'll enter right here <laughs> I'm gonna have to mute. Yeah, so that's just a little insy bit of my party. I'm so sorry that I didn't have the whole thing. Like I promise, I the footage is just gone. Like I tried, I tried, I tried, I tried. It's just whatever. Anyway, after I do the micellar water, I moisturize. And shout out to my girl Brie who got me this for my birthday. It's a triple performing facial emulsion by Benefit Cosmetics and it has a 15 SPF. I normally try to use something a little bit stronger um, when it comes to SPF, but this is just moisturizer. I do have other products that would have SPF um, because SPF is majorly important. But anyway, so that's what happened at my birthday party. So. For those of you who knew or didn't know, I was moving to Atlanta with someone. Um, yeah. <sighs> and I'm no longer moving to Atlanta. Um, long story short, because even though this channel is to get to know me and to get to know my struggles in my life, there's certain things I'm just not going to share because I really do believe in some sort of privacy. Um, yeah, I'm not moving anymore. Um, just things were not going the way they were supposed to go. And things changed and um basically I'm not leaving I'm not leaving I'm not fucking leaving so that's that um yeah I'm using this professional benefit to prime I mean I was really excited about moving to Atlanta um I thought it was gonna be a great experience um you know, at first I wasn't. I'm not gonna lie. At first I was like, I ain't moving to my fucking Atlanta. Like, what do I look like? I'm not a country pumpkin. I'm raised in New York. I did spend some time in Baltimore, which was the slowest city of my life. And then Miami. But those are still, you know, more major cities than I feel like Atlanta is. Personally. I could be wrong. That could be your opinion, whatever. But that's just my personal opinion. So, at first Atlanta was not something I really wanted. But I got on board with it because... Again, I was moving with, some, with someone that I cared about, and we decided to move in together. But whatever, things change. Um, so this Hourglass Foundation is bomb as shit. It's their Immaculate Liquid to Powder Formulation formula. Sorry, 
it's mattifying and oil free and i really like it and it was 50 dollars anyway it's back to atlanta so yeah it's not happening i'm not moving you know i am sad i am a little you know taken aback that my plans have to change but you know it's life it's whatever things come things go you have to just roll with the punches and just basically move the fuck on that's what i'm doing i'm moving the fuck on not to say the person that I was moving with is out of my life completely. Um, he's not. When you know, we're still working on things, kinda. We're still friends, but I gotta, you know, do what's for me. So now I'm like, fuck. It's been almost three months. I haven't really looked for a full time job or some somewhere that I'm, you know, I can make better money. I do live in my grandma's house, so it's not like I have real bills. But it's still like, bitch, you about to be fucking thirty. Like, what are you doing with your life? What are you doing? So, after the whole Atlanta thing wasn't going to happen, I decided, like, I got to figure something out. So, I had a homegirl who works for a property management company. And um, a little bit about myself, I love managing. Um, telling people what to do is probably one of my favorite things. <laughs> Project managing, more so because I like seeing, like, something you start from a small idea, grow into a project, and, like, be successful. So, property management is a lot like that. Uh, she was like, you know, we're looking for assistant property managers, like apply, send me your, send me your resume, let's see if I can get you an interview. A bitch sent her resume on a Sunday, went into the interview on a Tuesday, was working full time on a Wednesday. That's how fast. Oh, this is the NYX HD Studio um, Photogenic Concealer. I just used this. So yeah, it happened really fast. So like... I'm back in the corporate world, I guess you can say, working that nine to five, working for the man, but it's okay. I like it. Um, so far, so good. The company's cool. Um, the people I work with are cool. There is, you know, that core of black people that I gravitated to who are really nice um, so far. And it's really nice working with a, someone that I know. Who can show me like what's what in the company so it's not really blindsiding me not to say i'm going to take everything she says for granted or a word for it but it's nice to have someone that you can relate to that you know per on a personal level um i also took this tip from jackie about letting my under eye concealer dry down a little bit girl it works back to my life so yeah still living in my grandma's house which is fine something that i put on my goal list to get out of in 2017 but life just handed me some lemons I'm not really ready to make lemonade I just want to eat my sour lemons and be sour for a few more months it is a plan of mine a goal of mine to like actually get out but you know what I love my grandmother to death it's helping her as much as it's helping me who wants to leave free rent oh this Too Faced chocolate chip palette I got in a box from Sephora for 500 points and I'm not good with eyeshadow, but this literally is life. I just use all three colors. Start with my crease from this chocolate soil. I don't know how to say that. I just throw that in there and pop that on my crease like a pro. Don't even ask me what brushes I'm using. Because I don't know. Yes, yeah, so I was talking to my friend, a really good, really, really good friend of mine. Her name is Brittany. We've been friends since literally kindergarten. Um she moved to north carolina when we were in 11th grade and her and i never really lost contact we don't speak every day but like we do speak very often and i was telling her everything she is a counselor by trade like licensed and whatever so i do go to her when i have like real life problems and i want to talk about stuff and she always talks me off edges for, well the cliff and the edge a lot and i told her what happened and she was just like, you know what, these breakups, these things that happen in relationships that weren't the plan, always, oh, you know what, I'm going to read you exactly what she said. Hold up, because it was some good deep ass shit. Hold on. Let me find her. Shout out to Brittany. She told me she loved my videos. Okay. These ends to relationships are just to wake up, wait, you know when people type fast and you really didn't realize it was proper English? Brittany, I'm gonna need you to get on that. Okay, so these ends to relationships are just to wake us up. It's a wake up call that we need even that even though it hurts for real. Time to focus on you and you should be doing great things. Like literally the last time I talked to Brittany was my birthday and then her birthday in June. We only talk birthday, Christmas, and holidays. 
but I still consider her one of my closest friends because she be knowing all my about my life things and that that really meant something to me I hope she's watching I know she's gonna watch she's a big supporter of mine anyway so I just take taking like I was getting into I'm taking this breakup or break whatever it's gonna turn out to be as like a time to get back into me get back into what I want out of my life and focus on good energy and just Kristen Brady whatever you want to call me I'm not sad I mean yeah I miss him and yeah I'm gonna be a little upset here and there but fuck it like I'm so good so yeah that's just an update in my life um I'm really sorry that the birthday footage got deleted. I'm really sorry that it took me three weeks to put up a new video. I promise that this will not be the norm. This is just something that happened. Life throws you fucking curveballs and you have to like dodge the motherfuckers. Like you just gotta know how to like dodge it. And I was not prepared at all. And when it happened, so this is my studio fix. I am NC45. I used to set my face. So yeah, anyway, so when it happens, you just have to deal with them the best way you can. And the best way I could, and the best way I knew how, was to hide under a rock in my room, under my blanket, and just be sad. And now that I'm not sad anymore, I'm ready to get the fuck out of this funk and live my life back to the way I know I can live it. So you guys, that's about it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm about to go do some errands, whatever. Um, I want to thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel, watching my second video, being patient with me. I'm so sorry again about the delay. I promise it's not going to be like that. Um, the next session is going to be Ask Breedy because I have some things that I want to talk about that a friend of mine needed advice for. I'm um, so excited for the future of the videos. Oh yeah, my hair. I was going to take down my twists, but they're still wet and that's why, you know, sometimes having a head wrap in the house works. Um, let me know if you guys want to see how I do my head wraps. I'm sure other people have videos and tutorials, but I figured this little method out on my own. So anyway, have a great day. Be great. I don't know how I gotta think of an outro, but <laughs> see you guys next time. Bye.